Welcome back to PJ Chen Design. This is PJ. Today I would like to show you this process ring with the Rhino 7 SubD tool and how to make them connection is really smooth. Are you ready? Let's get started. Before we start in this demonstration, I want to talk about the structure. As you can see, one side is darker than the other side, which means it has reflect or it's like a right now, uh, mirror going to the other side. So you can see these two sides right there. So ideally, as soon as we can take one side down, that would be fine. And the structure wise is we are going to making this ring first right in the middle. And we are going to making this prong right here. And we just kind of connect it in between. All right, so we'll get this nice split prong there. So that's starting from the scratch. So we're gonna come into the front view, use the circle command to creating the ring size. In this case, I wanted to make sure it is uh, about 16 millimeter and you can make any size that you want it uh, for your ring to start with. And I'm gonna be coming into the side to create a profile for my ring. In this case, I wanna make sure that it's the right thickness and everything that I wanted. So I'm gonna click okay and moving this back to the center right here. So now we have those two curves. Uh, we are going to using the sub D tool under the tab right here, you are on the standard and now you wanna pick up the sub D. So those are the sub D tool that you can use. Or you can come into the drop down menu and you have the sub D uh, sub menu and those are all the sub D tool. Okay, to creating a ring in the sub D, we are going to use this uh, sub D sweep one rail and we're gonna pick up the rail, pick up the cross section and hit enter, then you will get the window like this. Now, how many section do you want it to have is up to you. In this case, I might need to have a more section. So I'm going to increasing this into the 12 and see where is the prong that I'm going to have right there uh, and see if that is enough. You can increasing those number if you want to and but I would like to stay with the 8 and the 12. Okay, let's click OK. Now we have this surface right here. You can see uh, it's a closed sub D surface. Okay. And and the second thing is we are going to call in our stone. You can sign up my newsletter at the description below and then you will get the round stone to download. And I just call the stone in by copy and paste from the stone file that you download. Okay, so now we have this stone right here. It's up to you want to make them bigger or smaller. The stone that I have there is for five millimeter, but I do want to make a really blink diamond ring so I might want it to have it bigger like this. Okay so now I have my stone ready I need to creating my prong. Coming into the circle command or you can use a square if that works for you. I'm going to create in a circle snapping where it's on almost like 45 degree there and to decide how big of the circle that I wanted for my prong. And of course you don't want it to, the prong is cutting in way too much. All right, once we are turning into the circle, we need to make sure it is a sub D friendly curve. If you click on here, it's just a, it's a closed curve, right? So ideally is we want to create a surface and if we are having this surface and then we can blend it into one of the surface here but to blend it not blend it uh, to um, bridges in the sub D instead of blend that you will need to have a both side it's the same type of a model in order to bridge so if this is a poly surface it's not going to work right so let's go ahead to rebuild this guy and we want to rebuild into a uh, point count into four and make sure it's a sub D friendly curve the reason we wanted to have is four is because this uh, surface that we are going to blend uh, bridge into is a full size of the surface as well. Okay, so let me simply just extrude it a little bit so you can kind of see what kind of the surface, the area that we are going to cut into it, right? Now I'm going to come into the selection and pick up this surface and we want to delete it. So ideally two sides the same. They have four edges here for the sub D surface and we have four edges here for the sub D surface. Let's go ahead and give it a try. We are going to use the bridge command in the sub D and then we are going to pick up uh, the age for the first set is one, two, three, and four. And you hit enter and pick up the second set. One, two, three, 
and four. Make sure both sides the number has to be the same, right? Then you will get something like this. And notice that it's like really pointed right there, but that's okay. We can always add it. Uh, you can increase in the section in the middle, so you can have more things to tweak if you want to, and you can join them if you want to. Okay, so that's click OK. Then I will have something like this. Okay, now let's take a look. This might be like a two. Uh, caving too much and maybe I want to make it more smoother so I'm going to pick up all this curve uh, on my sub curve and I just want to delete this right and then now I can pick up the surface on um, this all in the loop and I want to bring out a little bit if I do not want to have the bottom that's so thick I can kind of uh, taper it and bring in and then you can kind of tweak it into the way that you like right uh, maybe right in the middle here it's way too much uh, I'm kind of tapering too much and then you can do 1d scale it's up to you how you like to uh, I like to do it now you can also bring up specific only on this curve instead of like caving a lot you might want to have the bottom is a little bit stronger so it's up to you how you like to address it now I kind of feel like this curve right here it might be too much in so maybe you wanted to make them smoother by bringing them out. So I have a better transition in this area, right? So those are really basic sub D that we can play with. Now we have this and we can simply just cap it. Uh, in the sub D, instead of using the cap, you have something it's called fill sub D hole. And then you're gonna pick up all this uh, edges here and hit enter. Then you will get something like this. Now, after we got this, of course if it's for the setting this is like way too thin so I'm going to pick up all of this and in case I'm picking up the stone I'm going to lock the stone that right there just in case I accidentally to pick up the stone so let's go ahead to lock the stone all right so now let's go back with the sub D tool we want to pick up the faces make them a little bit longer so we can drag them right there I might want to just pick up uh, the curve and have them to go down a little bit right there and then again go back to the top I may want to pick up only these faces and bring up a little bit and you can also take a look on the top view how much you want to cut into it right and again if you feel like this curve is too tilted you can also pick up this curve right here on the surface and I kind of want to bring it back a little bit so it's a bit puffier on this side so go ahead to tweak into the way that you think the prong should be once we done the prong and we all want to do is a symmetrical on all of them so simply what we wanted to do is using the reflect command in the sub D then you want to pick up the sub D you want to reflect it will ask you you want to reflect X axis or Y axis so in this case we want to pick up the X axis it will pick up like which side you wanted to keep so we want to click on the side that we want and just hit enter so that will go to the other side exactly the same the good thing about this is if you in the sub D and you feel like I need to tweak a little bit more I want to move this the other side will move it together it's because it's, it's reflect okay so once you like whatever that you have there you can do the reflect one more time so we want to reflect here and we wanted to click on the sub D we want to apply and this time we want to pick up the Y axis and let's go ahead to pick it up on the right side and hit enter and that will reflect over there so now right and the left is reflect as well the Y uh, is the spot that you can changing uh, you can keep tweaking for example I still feel like the middle part might be too thick so I'm going to pick up those curve and just do the 1d scale to scale it down and you can keep tweaking into uh, you find a shape that you like like what I have right here on this curve I may bring in too much and to make it this one too strong for example so I can kind of uh, 1d scale it down 
to make it more elegant and to tweak it into the way I like. Once you like everything, you just turn them into the polished surface and they will be ready for casting. I hope you enjoy the video. I do have a course for specific on the sub D and that is this on my website that teach you every detail about the sub D and organize and 3D model the organic form. Thank you for watching and I will see you next.